Hi guys, welcome to this exception this short video. We are going to take a quick look at the alignment group in the home tab in your Raven. So this alignment group contains all the various options that allow you to align data in your cells so that you can see it a little bit easier. So for example, if we select all our data here, if we want to center this within our cells, we can click this center button here and as you can see it will center in our columns and if we click it again it will go back to what it was originally we can also left mind ourselves or right align them all in this instance we'll keep them centered it's also possible to change your alignment vertically so if we expand this cell out you will see that it still stay at the top because it's alignment in the top of the cell so if we click in our cell say we want it in the center we click in this one it now appears in the center of the cell or we can align it with the bottom another useful tool in the alignment tab is the wrap text button and this basically wraps your text up in the cell so that it's forced anything that goes out of the cell or disappears of the edge of the cell into the next line if we select our header row here and wrap the text you will see that some of the values that are of the cell will wrap up so click and wrap text and you will see now you can see all the text within the cell and then for example, if you want to align that in the cell, we click in the center button here. A couple of other options you might want to make your title appear across your entire header row. Merging center will basically merge all the cells into one single large cell and it will center any text or value in, into the middle. So to undo that, we can click on merge and it's center again, and it will undo that merging center. We can also tap in our cells, indent them or indent them. So we can click on this. It will indent our text, and equally, if we press the arrow to the left, it will take it back out. The final most useful thing to know in this alignment tab is our text direction tab so in some instance you might have data in which you want to keep your columns quite a narrow but still be able to read your text so it might be more useful to have your text pointing down so we can angle our text in various different directions so we can have it clockwise we can have it vertically rotating it up so it appears sideways or down and if we click here we can adjust it in and more detailed manner the alignment tab in your format cell box also allow you to do all the previous options we looked at including things like shrink to fit so for example if we come back out and do our last options and take wrap text off say we want to shrink this cell to fit we can either click on this alignment pop-up box or hold the shortcut key ctrl plus one to open our box it will come into our limit tab and if we select shrimp to fit and click ok it will reduce the size of the text in that cells so it fits into the cell so that's uh, just a quick introduction to alignment tab and how you might be able to organize your data and align it so that you can view it better however if there is anything particular you would like to know please let me know i will see you in the next video